Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and I am here by myself today because Neon is out doing something else. And this one I had to tell you about, I was going to mention this a couple days ago. I did an article on Pirates and Princesses, which is my Disney blog. I didn't get a chance to do a video on it, but it's funny because we have people comparing the new gardens at Epcot to vaginas. So, um... I'll explain in a minute. Before I get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, you will get a woohoo, woohoo, and we're going to talk about this. So, Epcot has been behind construction walls, the whole center spine area of Epcot. Um, if you go past the uh, Spaceship Earth attraction, the big golf ball, they call it, and you go back in there, there's that, that spine area. Now, it has been under construction for a while. They, you know, redid the store and they have parts of it open in sections. They're still working on part of it, but they opened up the Moana walk through water on the one side. And then they had this big celebration garden they're doing, okay? This garden was originally supposed to be like a festival pavilion and all this other stuff. And they kept, you know, cutting down what it was uh, little by little each year. And it's been five years since it's behind a wall. And they finally opened this up uh, just a few days ago to everyone. And after five years, hot damn, you get a little itty bitty garden area. Five years. Now, Disney says they're going to spend, you know, all this money and triple expenditures for the theme parks to get such wonderful things as a new projection show on the Tree of Life. And, you know, they're going to, you know, reskin Dinosaur for Indiana Jones and they're going to you know, redo Country Bear Jamboree to be IP-focused country songs based on Disney, popular Disney songs and things like that. Cheap-ass shit. They're going to try to pass off as some big, great new improvement. This was one of those things. Where the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, very awesome ride, highly recommend. I love it. That's why kids' favorite rides now. Well, that was amazing, and they put a lot of effort and money, and you could see the, the spend there. It's the big things like the festival pavilion are now cut down to a vagina garden. So everybody's talking about this new garden, and they're talking about this specifically. Uh, people were already commenting on it a little while ago. Uh, here you can see it again, because when they had an aerial uh, shot of this from above before they put the planters and they filled everything in, people were already making comments when they saw that, that it looked a little bit like a female body part. This is the Epcot logo. If you've ever been to Epcot, it was like their, back in the day especially, that was their logo with the circles, you know, inter in intertwining. I love it. I always thought the Epcot logos were cool. However, this looks like a vagina. I I'm not disagreeing with them. And it has led to a bunch of memes. Somebody had put a little circle on here and said, for those men who don't know, this is where you go for, and stuff like that. It's funny. Everybody's joking about the giant vagina in Epcot. And it's extra funny because uh, before this, we had the penis in Morocco. There was a chimney that was in Morocco that resembled a penis. And people were lining up. They were literally making their own lines to get a pictures in front of the penis. It was a, a, a rite of passage. Everybody who went to, to Epcot was like, you know, that we're, in, that we're in the know. We're all lining up outside of this chimney. To get photos and make you know weird gestures outside the chimney um because obvious reasons it's funny it's like everybody's standing in front of the animal kingdom sign where if you stand a certain way it says anal kingdom like it just it, everybody's doing it like you put yourself in the picture in a certain way it blocks out a couple letters and it spells anal kingdom and everybody posts their pictures of it and everybody thinks it's funny because we're people and potty humor and penises and vaginas are hilarious and what did Disney do, you know, when they didn't want this taken away from their other attractions, so they, they took it out. They castrated the chimney. Morocco no longer has a dick. And it is, it, it's just a wall now. I think there'll be a door there. I don't have a picture of it off the top of my head or right, right in front of me. But they did this like 2021 because everybody was lining up to take pictures. And then they have this lovely thing. This has been there since way back when the land was opened i think the one theater they have these things around it which everybody jokes are penises and they haven't taken this out yet so as you can see epcot has a lot of penises and vaginas um there's a lot of there's a lot of fucking in epcot and like to boost sales epcot opens only fans account that's what people are, are making this is the jokes they're making about this big area that took five years to open five years this is it this is the five-year the five-year space right here guys this 
That's five years. That's garden area. Now I do appreciate the shade. They have little seating areas. They have they do have like phone charging stations built into some of these things, which is nice. Epcot truly, truly does need more shade. Here's some pictures coming from WW News today. It's one thing they, they do need. Um, I so I'm I'm not completely against it, but I don't see why this took five years. Five years. Five years and no one thought this might get looks like a vagina to people. I mean, no one thought this might be a bad idea. But then again, they didn't think the chimney was a bad idea either. So this is where it's at. Now, when it really comes alive is at night. Because at nighttime, when they have like the luminous or whatever going on, they have these these pillars. They Well, I guess they were lighting up different colors. And people were saying after the fact, they kind of just keep them white now. They aren't changing the colors. But the color changes was cool. But we've only been open like a few days. And already the lights are breaking. So five years for this. And they said that there are areas where the lights are, are, are not lighting up. They should, or they should stay a different color. They, they change, obviously, but they change in sync. And some of the lights are just staying one color and aren't changing like they should, or they're just completely staying dark. They just opened this. I don't know how much this thing cost, but after five years behind a wall, this is their big, this is their big addition. And it's beautiful. I'm not going to say it's not. I mean, it's beautiful. You can see how pretty it is. This is WW Magic. But these were changing colors too, and now they're just keeping them white. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see these are all cast in like, like an orange hue and stuff. But is it a five-year construction? No! And they're saying they're going to try to do stuff to compete with uh, Epic Universe. Well, they better get their ass in gear because Epic Universe, they're already announcing their opening dates for their hotels. They have these two hotels, and they're going to be like uh, like a premium value resort. Um, think like the dock side and surf side, but probably nicer. And these ones are going to be uh, called, they have them right here, they're Stella Nova and Terra Luna. And each one has a different theme to it. Um, the Gastella, Stella Nova is going to be it, Distant Galaxies, New Stars, and Black Holes. Um should be an Epcot. Uh, Terra Luna is going to be inspired by the massive and diverse planetary elements of the universe. These ones, we know that they have a date coming. We know that uh, Stella Nova is opening January 21st, 2025. And Terra Luna is going to open February 2025. So these guys, these guys are coming. Epic Universe is coming in 2025. We already have the hotels coming. And we already have opening dates. Meanwhile, Disney is over here like going on about and we're going to do all this stuff. And I'm telling you, we're going to do, here's a blue sky artist concept sketch with no time frame whatsoever. What I can guarantee you we're going to get are the cheap, easy things. Like we got a whole bunch of meet and greets. They had no problem putting them out. They kept putting a meet and greet out every other month. It was like, oh, look, now you can meet the people from Encanto. Now you can meet Figment. And we're just going to repurpose stuff we already have. And you're going to, you know, and look, we're getting you new things. We're going to raise the price too. So they keep doing this where they keep giving you a garden and then they're saying we have to charge you more for a garden. I mean, some people pay more for a garden, it looks like this. Uh, some people might go and copy it now because, you know, it is a thing. But when you compare this to what we're getting in Epic Universe, it's sad. And Universal's getting it done a lot faster than Disney is. Five years. And it's a garden. It's a garden. And the lights are already starting to break. All right. Yeah. It was only open a few days. Actually, this happened was like two or three days after it opened. The lights were already breaking. Now, granted, people are complete assholes. And they're, 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 very, they're known to not respect anything to try to deliberately break things. Um, but this is bad. And I don't know how hard it is to take this out and replace it. I'm assuming they'd have to make it kind of easy to fix because, you know, that would be dumb otherwise. But then again, this is the, this is the same place that when they did Space 220, the restaurant. They had to you know, wait longer to uh, open because they didn't think about the fact that sometimes you have to replace things. And then they had some issues with the windows and they had to tear everything apart to replace it. And it took longer. So I don't know, it, but everybody, they're talking about it. They're talking about the gardens, but they're talking about the gardens because it looks like a vagina. Not because it's amazing and stellar and fantastic and, oh, I'm, I'm moved. Oh, there's some people moved. Just not in the way that, that Disney would, would like, not the family-friendly way. So anyway, please like and subscribe. Tell us what you think in the comments, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.